Hello guys, what you're listening to right now is the Hollyland Lark Max. This video is going to be pretty crazy. I'm going to do a range test, different audio settings, like what it looks like, and tons of other things. I have a secondary camera, which is my DJI Action 3, and I actually am going to do a quick face reveal in this video. Not a full face reveal, but I'm taking off the hat, guys. I'm going to just start showing my hair and just wear my glasses. One thing I want to tell you is that this um, DJI Action 3 is on a Ulanzi stand, which I'm actually going to put a link in the description. I'm not going to do a review on. I actually am going to take clips with it, do some video tests, more vlogs with this. This thing's going to be really fun. And by the way, I'm going to actually do a full one month or two month review. Like after two months, I'm going to do a review on this saying all the features about it because I've already had it for a month and it's already crazy so I will do a review on it again telling you how good it is after a month or two because there is some issues about it. I'm not going to be doing a full review on this. This is a review. I'm going to do a range test and all that but I want to show you the box on this thing. This thing is crazy. The box that it comes with super durable. It's made of some kind of thick plastic or something it's got a nice matte finish it's not shiny it looks neat fancy it all right so i've got a bunch of cables here this is all the cables it came with besides the red one this one is actually a type c to aux so i can plug it into my acting camera so i will put this in the link in the description because this thing's great if you guys are willing if you guys want to get a action one of the action um camera series by dji Go for this adapter because it this thing was $18, but man, does it work so well. All right, so let's go to some of the accessories. So first of all, we have a aux to aux, which is actually supposed to be for a camera. It's the same port on each. And this is here is a charger. It comes with two chargers, one for the transmitter, one for the receiver. So this is one for either, and then this is another one. And then over here, we have a Type-C to Lightning, which actually um, allows you to plug it into an Apple phone or an Apple iPad. And then also, I have another adapter, but it's hooked up to the, my phone right now. It's a Type-C to Type-C. Type-C plugs into my phone. The other Type-C plugs into the receiver. And then it picks up the audio in a very high audio. I'm actually going to show my face right now because I'm going to do a range test. So let me show you that in three, two, one. This is what I look like. This is me without the hat. I've got some pretty long hair going on here, but I'm actually wanting it to grow longer. So this is actually what I look like, and I don't have the Hollyland Lark on right now. I'm using just the built-in mic on the camera, but I'm actually going to um, hook up my Hollyland Lark Max up to this Action 3 so I can show you that this thing works insanely well for this camera. So let me do that right now. All right. This is the Action 3, and the best thing for me for the um, Action 3 is set the Action 3 to negative 5 decibels for the gain on here, and then put the gain, well, the output for the Hollyland Lark Max to zero, and then go into the settings, change the mic uh, gain, and put it to 6. Those exact settings that I just said will give you the audio that you're hearing right now. The higher you go on this Action 3, the worse it's going to sound because it's going to sound really distorted. And I want to show you what that sounds like when I go to full gain on the actual camera. Alright, so this is plus 20 decibel gain. And if I talk loud, see if I'm just talking normally, it's so distorted. So don't do this setting. You can also do plus one decibel if you want it a little bit louder, but to me, I think that negative five decibels on the camera sounds the best. I am still extremely shocked for how much this thing, like the, the audio that comes out of this tiny little Hollyland Lark Max is crazy. This is a $160 mic with just one RTX, uh, <laughs> wrong word, um, one mic and one receiver, so... That costs one hundred and fifty nine dollars, but if you get the um dual like two mics and the thing plus the charging case, I think it's around two hundred and sixty bucks. I could be wrong. I'll put the price right above the screen right here. That's the price of the the double model, the one with the two mics and the receiver. And then here's the one. Hold on, this is the one in this corner. That's that one is the one that I have right now. 
I want to do something for those ASMRists out there who want to do ASMR videos. This is a great mic for ASMR, but you have to put it on the highest gain and you have to change the settings on this. I want to show you the best setting for ASMR videos. Plus 9 decibel on the camera and then put the gain on 10 on the output for the Hollyland and then also in the settings of the Hollyland put it on 6 in the settings so I want to show you how good this is for ASMR really really sensitive it might actually be a little bit too high but I can show you some other settings to make it sound the best alright same settings but instead of having plus 9 decibel gain on the action 3 put it on zero gained and it will actually sound pretty good so this is zero gain same settings but this is just on zero gain sounds a little bit quieter but if you want the loudest do the one before this but it sounds kind of distorted if you go too crazy with it okay i put it back on the good settings i and i put the wind cap on just to show you what it sounds like this thing's supposed to prevent plosives and it's also meant to prevent wind. So watch when I blow into it. It's supposed to block out a lot of the wind and it actually works pretty well. So this is what I'm gonna use for the outdoor test when I do the range test and this thing's actually great. I actually did a range test but I failed doing it because I kept messing up so I'm taking this video the next day and I'm gonna do a range test today. One of the craziest features I love about this mic, and new, like, expensive mics are doing this now, like wireless mics, and it is a built-in recorder. 8 gigabytes built-in storage gives you 14 hours of solid recording. You can do this for, like, meetings and stuff. It's genius. You can carry this thing around. You don't even need this janky thing. <laughs> this thing is kind of... You don't have to put it on your phone anymore. You can actually just record this and you can sit, put the audio recording from this and line it up with your video if you wanted to do it that way for the best audio. But still, this thing with the wireless connection is really good. But I like this recording because it works super duper well. The audio with the recording sounds exactly the same as wireless, but it has more like crisp sound because it has it doesn't have to deal with the wireless connection. It's just the bare audio right from the actual mic system. All right, I pretty much covered most about the mic, like the features and stuff, but now I'm gonna do a range test. I'm using the mic built in on the Action 3, so I'm gonna hook up my mic in a second. I just gotta find a place to set this down, but this is also an audio test on the Action 3. I'm actually doing a lot of audio tests on the Action 3 with this as well, so it's like a two-in-one video because I didn't show you much on the Action, the DJI, Action 3 video. I showed you stabilization test. It was a few audio tests, but I'm, this is a full test because right now it's super windy and it's the perfect time to do an audio test with the wind because this thing has a really good um, wind reduction built in. All right, I'm doing a range test. I'm walking backwards. I've got my Action 3 over there with the receiver and I'm using the transmitter right now. And this is what the audio sounds like. I have the wind cap on plus the wind reduction added, which is also, it's actually mainly called uh, noise reduction, but it's also wind reduction because it's meant to block out noise and wind. But it works um, to the end until the last. All right, wind reduction off. So now it's just the mic with the wind cap on, but no wind reduction. So I want to see how this sounds. Um, let's see. All right, I'm actually going to put my hood up because Hair keeps getting in my face from the wind behind me. Alright, this will work. So I'm gonna keep walking this way all the way to the end, like last time, see if the audio cuts out. And it's gonna be the same as well as the last time, but I think it's gonna sound better without the wind production. Because, um, okay, as I'm walking back, um, I have a question to say. Do you guys, would you guys spend $160? on a wireless mic that's like the size of the palm, smaller than the palm of your hand and has really crisp audio, I would and I already own one and I'm telling you I think you should buy one too because if you guys have the money 
like kids out there who are wanting to start vlogs. I think this is a great alternative. If you have 150, 160 bucks laying around, 150 bucks, go and buy this thing because it's the best um, microphone I've had in my entire life. Oh my gosh, a piece of hair on my face. All right, guys, what did you guys think of the Highland Lark Max? Did you guys like it? Did the audio sound good? Did I do enough in this review? Let me know. So I really wish I had this when I was younger, when I first started YouTube, because this thing is incredible. I think it's better than any other DJI mic I've ever heard, because I've heard all the DJI mics on YouTube videos. I haven't heard them in person, but on YouTube videos, they should be the same audio, and to me, I think this sounds better than the DJI Mic 2, which is the newest version of the DJI Mic. I'm going to put a picture of um, all the specs, like things that I didn't list um, on the screen here. So right now what you're seeing are pictures of specs I didn't show you and some that I actually did tell you. I think it has 24 kilobit, kilob something um, audio, so it gives you the best audio, which is actually pretty crazy. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below. Definitely leave a comment because I really want to see your opinions on this mic. So, I hope you enjoyed. And I've got more really cool videos coming out soon. This is Gonix signing off. See you later.